All right, guys. So I know I still have a lot of questions. People, the mystery behind what is a moonshine still and how does it work? Uh, what are all these different parts and this really pretty piece of copper here? <laughs> yes, that, that, that's that's part of what's necessary to make uh, make moonshine. You got you got to have a good dog. You got to have a good dog. <laughs> So Andrew's going to explain, explain what this is, what each part does, and that way you guys can understand what's going on with this uh, pretty piece of equipment here. Yeah, so this is a 20 gallon custom still that we just uh, recently finished up, um, but you know, once you get it home and you get it all set up, you might be curious kind of what everything does. So this here is your main pot, um, or your boiler, some people might call it. Uh, this is where your mash, or your wash, or effectively a beer is going to go, you know, you're going to make your mash and from there you're going to strip all the solids out and put your liquid wash inside of here. Um, from there you're going to heat it. Um, you can do it with you know, gas, propane. You, this one's actually set up to be run on electric, um, which is the way to go if you ask me. But um, lots of different ways you can heat it. But what you're going to do is you're going to effectively heat this up and heat it to a point where you're going to be able to separate the alcohol from the rest of the liquid that's inside of your wash. Um, it's going to travel up here through your cap or your head and on over to your thumper, which is the middle pot here. Um, and your, your thumper is going to be used to basically give you a little bit higher proof. You can use it to help flavor things. Um, but how it does it is this pipe here actually runs all the way to the bottom of this can. And inside of your thumper, you're going to start with some liquid in the bottom, whether that's uh, some of the, the wash that you have or heads, tails, water, flavor, fruit, um, I mean it's pretty much options are endless which is what makes Thumper so awesome, um, gives you a lot of different things that you can do to it. Um, but from there it's going to revaporize and um, come up and over to your condenser here and inside of this condenser is a big coil um, which is where all your hot alcohol vapors are going to go, they're going to travel in that coil. Um, and this, the entire can here will be filled with water. So that water is basically acting as a heat exchanger and turning that vapor back into a liquid. Um, and so I know one of the things a lot of people are curious about, so like this pipe right here, it doesn't go down to the liquid. This is flush with the top. Yep, yep. So that, that pipe ends right here at the top. Um, that way all your vapor can travel right up into that pipe and exit, exit your thumper. So, and this is a question that I've seen asked a lot. So this is a worm, this is a condenser, and I always have, or see postings or have people ask, hey, what is that, what is that stick thing? So right here, show people the difference between a worm and a Leipzig style condenser, yeah. if you want to explain that. Uh, yeah, so basically a Leipzig style condenser, um, this is, it's this guy right here, it's got a couple water ports on the back so you can cycle water through it, but it's basically a pipe inside of a pipe. Um, it's a very similar principle to the worm coil in the sense that you've got a pipe that is being run through water. The co worm coil is just, you know, your worm coil is going to be a coil, whereas this one has um, straight pipes, you can kind of see there. So your, your vapor is going to go in here, your water is going to be all around it yep. going through these ports and it's going to condense the vapor down through the as it goes down through the through the pipe. Yep. yep. Awesome. That 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 part can I know a lot of people have questions about. Yep. It's the same thing. You're you're doing the same thing just two different ways. And as you can see, they have plenty of different models and styles to choose from. Every budget as fancy or as simple as you want to go. Yep. All kinds of just really pretty, really pretty copper. Uh, around here waiting to go out the door. So that, I hope, explains a little bit about how it still operates and what the different parts are. Uh, if anybody has more questions, hey, hit me up here or hit Andrew up on uh, from North Georgia Steel Company. Any of us be more than willing to answer any questions you got.